and welcome to the Field of Streams, where I, your host, Janine McRae, bring you the tiny thoughts that stream from my brain and present them to you as though they're a rare, lost for 60 years Fabergé egg that I recently found at a backstreet flea market, and here I am, giving you the honour of blowing minds on the next episode of the Antique Roadshow. Hmm, ratings gold. Now, I can't promise you much with these weekly treasures, but I can promise you this. I won't keep you long. You know, sometimes you just stumble on a story that makes your eyes go to the garage, grab a ladder and climb onto stalks. Today's missive was inspired by an article I read about a photographer taking a photo of a crow taking an ant bath. If the words ant bath don't make your eyes stalkify, I'm sorry, I think you might be dead inside. You should probably see a doctor. So what is an ant bath? Well, basically, in this case, the crow gets down on the ground, extends its wings and shimmies about in the dirt to let ants get all up in their business. It's called anting. Anting, and I quote, is a tactic birds use when they intentionally invite ants or other insects onto their feathers or skin. End quote. There's a bunch of theories on why they do this, and I've put the article in the description if you want to take a peek. Anywho, you can just guess why it got me all itchy and inspired. As creative people, we should open ourselves up to anting, or, you know, the equivalent of anting in a creative field. Walk right into the centre of it and let folks crawl all over our work and nibble away. And so I wrote a piece rambling on about that. And you, dear listener, are the beneficiary. You're welcome. Basic premise, the niggles of criticism may sting, but they make us stronger in the end. Without any further kicking of ants' nests, here is the post. Anting. It's not just for the birds. Walk into the centre of it. Stride on in, brave chickadee. Walk with spine erect and arms hung loose and free. Set your eyes to a fierce gaze, one that stares directly at the bright light of challenge and burns out the bulb. Walk in, little birdie, to proudly perch upon that seething anthill. Glance at the black and petty static swarming at your feet, but don't lose your poise. Breathe. Breathe deeply and fully as you splay your arms to indicate the approach of some kind of private rapture. Now take a knee. As you crouch atop that shimmering pile, fan your feathers, present your humble body, and expose your soft, bubbling dough to the heat of the unknown below. A hush. You say... I am my art, my art is me. Groom me, destroy me, delouse this house of the parasite of self-doubt. Though my instinct says to remove myself from this anti-me anthill, I choose to fan my feathers and invite you in. Let the passive anting begin. And scene. Critical ants. The comment section of your life will be filled with a hot swarm of them. Pinches and pincers. They'll nip and tickle at your confidence, driving you insane with their relentless constancy. Don't like, don't want, didn't ask for, garbage. These are the scritches and natterings of mandibles gone wild. Why subject yourself to them? Because plus one in critical armour is always a good thing. Submitting yourself to anting, allowing critiques to gnaw to the roar of you, is right up there with deconstructing your hostile architecture in the defence techniques for Sensitive Artists' Manual. Critical armour, a.k.a. the one created by receiving criticism, is the best armour. You might think you already have top-notch creative armour because you built it quietly in your bedroom with no one around, but as an ant would say, it's shit. It's cheap and delicate and you never test its limits because you only show your work to those who love it, even if they don't, or you don't show it at all. It's got that tree-falls-in-a-forest perfection vibe, and you don't want to ruin it, but safe from the crack of the I-don't-get-it-lash... That tree never grows any taller. Your forest needs ants. You need to feel the ant crawl of their acidic disdain and learn that you can take it. You need to walk to the centre of that ant hill of anti-anti-panda and submit to it. Crawling, nipping, stinging. May the tingle of it make you whole as those ants nibble off your microscopic parasites of self-doubt and remove that dead skin habit of confusing worth with value right off your husk. It will hurt at first, sting a bit, It will ache and twist your insides. This radiating fire on your skin will be like hot water on a poison oak rash. The first few seconds of flinch, 
followed by the delicious burn of skin brought alive. Take it, you can. Tolerate it, you will. Be like the crow, black and majestic, head humbly bowed with legs of stinging insect. Be like the crow and receive all the gifts that passive anting will bestow upon your creative psyche. Are you done? Now stand. Walk from the centre and away from the bristling nest. Look back at those ants and say, thank you. Thank you for your constant misunderstanding. Thank you for the reminder that I am not original. Thank you for alerting me to the fact that your grandchild can do better than this dreck. Thank you for your dumb and brutal honesty. But I'm now leaving you on that hill you will die on, but I refuse to. Thank you for levelling up my shield to 100% weapons grade, don't give a fuck antium. They say one of the reasons birds take ant baths is that the process releases formic acid. I'm no formic acid academic, but if we join the dots, I think what this means for sensitive artsy types is right there in the name. Form a coat. Form a shell. Form some impenetrable confidence to be bold and fearless from the soothing acid balm that ant critics provide. Anting. Available at any comment section near you, should you be so bold as to strike a pose. And there you have it, this week's swarming episode. I hope you'll come back for more. These little missives are designed to inspire creative folk to get out there and make something of their very own. If you enjoyed this week's episode, give it a rating. I really do appreciate it. And if you enjoy my writing, be sure to subscribe to the stream newsletter at janinemccrae.substack.com. Till next we meet, love what you love, and I'll see you out there making stuff. <laughs>